The Little Cook When Luca was small, he loved to crawl around the house on his hands and knees in Montenegro. He especially loved to crawl into the kitchen and play with the pots and pans. As he grew older, he learned how to walk, and he loved to walk around the house on his two feet. He especially loved to walk into the kitchen and help mother cook. When Luca started school, he had free time after doing his homework. So, he helped mother cook meals for the family. Before long, he was cooking for the whole family all by himself. He was a great cook. Then father opened a cafe serving healthy vegetarian food, and he needed some extra help. Who did he turn to for help? Would you like to help us in the kitchen at the cafe? Father asked Luca. The boy nodded his head eagerly. He loved to cook. So, Luca started getting up at 5 a.m. to read the Bible, pray, and do his morning exercises. Then, before school, he went to the cafe. First, he put on a gray uniform and a white chef's hat. Then he washed his hands. After that, he got to work, chopping vegetables to make a delicious dish called ratatouille. He chopped eggplant, squash, potatoes, onions, tomatoes, and sweet red peppers. He knew that he had to be careful with the sharp knife, so he didn't cut himself. After turning on a big oven, he mixed herbs with the chopped vegetables and spooned the colorful mixture into a huge baking dish. He set the timer for 45 minutes and placed the food into the oven. While the food was baking, he washed dirty dishes and prepared other food. When the ratatouille was ready, he put it in the cafe display case for sale. After school, Luca did his homework and returned to the cafe to prepare more food. Luca loves his job. He loves to cook. It is difficult to find healthy food for sale in Montenegro, and people who come to the cafe to find healthy food are surprised to see the boy in the gray uniform and white chef's hat. How old is he? Is he a chef, they ask? When they learn that he is 12, they are even more astonished. They want to know more about him and his family. Father gives them books about the God who provides healthy food so people can live happier lives. Father invites them to Bible studies. Not so long ago, Luca went to a gathering with father and mother in Serbia, and he helped cook for the people there. A doctor noticed Luca working in the kitchen, and she came to the boy. Who do you think is the chief doctor here? she asked. Luca was surprised by the question, but he knew that she was a doctor. Is it you? he said. The doctor shook her head. No, she said. Luca was confused and wondered who the chief doctor might be. Then he had an idea. Probably it's God, he said. The doctor smiled. Yes, she said. But someone else also is an important doctor. Luca grew more confused, but then he had another idea. Is it the cook, he said? Yes, she exclaimed. You are a doctor just like me because how you cook has a big impact on people's health. Luca was happy to hear that he is both a cook and a doctor as he makes healthy meals. I like to help cook, he says. With God's help, I like to help others. Part of this quarter's 13th Sabbath offering will help build a Pathfinder camp where children can earn about healthy food and God in Montenegro. Thank you for planning a generous 13th Sabbath offering.